An apartment fire in North Spokane left crews scrambling to get everyone out safely. The fire happened on the corner of Augusta and Lincoln around 245 this afternoon. KXLY 4's Alex LaFries working for you with details of that fire and some best practices for keeping your home safe. He joins us now live in the studio. Alex, sounds like a scary situation out there. It was, Aaron, and while the cause of this fire is still under investigation, there are some simple and easy, easy things you can do to ensure a fire-free 2015. For the past month, the fire system inside this apartment building had been malfunctioning, going off routinely, much to the dismay of the fire department. Today, the alarm did its job, but the residents inside weren't buying it. A dispatch reported that people are in the structure, but they're failing to come out. Fire crews had to sweep the building and escort residents outside. One person was transported to a local hospital with burns and smoke inhalation. Our crews have come here several times over the last uh, uh, month and uh, naturally they just think it's another false alarm and so they stay in the structure. So that's our biggest concern. I caught up with Fielder later in the day to find out how wintertime fires can be prevented. The key to us as far as getting on scene in, in a timely manner is, is that um, early detection and you get that from smoke detectors. Fielder recommends a photoelectric detector, which detects fires far faster than an ionization unit. Check the batteries once a year. We usually do, and when you change your clocks. He also says you should have your appliances checked on an annual basis. Have somebody come and take a look at your furnace once a year. If it's a chimney, have your chimney cleaned once a year. Have the flues checked. Make sure there's no loose connections anywhere. And finally, be cautious when using space heaters. You need to keep at least a three-foot um, clearance around them um, as far as combustibles go. Don't leave them unattended. D plug them into the hard wire. Don't run them off extension cords. And um, if you leave the room, turn the thing off. The fire department says they're happy to answer any questions you might have about fire risks in your own home. Just stop by a station and ask. Reporting live in the studio tonight, Alex LaFrace, KXLY4 News.